आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विथ ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडियाज ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल्स द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे In today's episode we remember revolutionary freedom fighter and founder of the Indian Independence League Rash Bihari Bose who died on 21st January 1945 Rash Bihari was born on the 25th of May 1886 in Bardhaman and was vehemently against the partition of Bengal by the British. In 1908 after the Alipore conspiracy he came to Dehradun. In Dun he secretly got involved with the revolutionaries and also came across revolutionary members of the Arya Samaj in Uttar Pradesh and Punjab. After the attack on Viceroy Harding in Delhi On the 23rd of December 1912 Rash Bihari was declared wanted by the British. He came in contact with Bagha Jatin during the flood relief work in Bengal in 1913 and became extensively involved as one of the leading figures of the Ghadar revolution. Most of the revolutionaries were arrested but Rash Bihari managed to escape. British intelligence and reached Japan in 1915. Bos along with Ayyappan Pillai Madhavan Nair was instrumental in persuading the Japanese authorities to support the Indian independence struggle abroad. In 1942 Bose convened a conference in Tokyo which decided to establish the Indian Independence League at the league's second conference in Bangkok a resolution was adopted to call upon Subhash Chandra Bose as the leader of the movement I resign my office and appoint this Subhash Chandra Bose as president of the Indian Independence League Now The League exhorted the Indian prisoners of war taken by Japan during the Second World War to join the Indian National Army. Bose along with Captain Mohan Singh and Sardar Pritam Singh played an instrumental role in the formation of Indian National Army on 1st September 1942 which later came to be known as the Azad Hind Fauj. The Japanese government conferred on him the honor of the Order of the Rising Sun. Unfortunately, Bose was afflicted by tuberculosis and he succumbed to the disease on the 21st of January 1945 in Tokyo. AIR salutes the great freedom fighter. Neshathinnulivai pannu virannore vaikambachirinne malavaniyunnu thoopi pari We also remember freedom fighter and Malayalam writer Waikom Muhammad Bashir who was born on 21st January 1908 in Talayola Parambu Kottayam he was fondly known as Bepor Sultan Kadayil padathiya Waikom Bashirinde orisa padunna baava mudugin From his childhood days Bashir was attracted to Gandhian thoughts and ideologies Bashir was arrested along with his group when he went to Malabar district to take part in the salt satyagraha in 1930 Bashir was sentenced to 3 months imprisonment and sent to Kannur prison His release along with 600 of his fellow prisoners came in March 1931 following the Gandhi Urban Pact 
Once free, he organized an anti-British movement and edited revolutionary journal Ujjivanam because of which an arrest warrant was issued on him. He avoided arrest by embarking upon a long journey that took him across the length and breadth of India and many places in Asia and Africa for seven years. He was arrested at Kottayam in 1941 and was sentenced to 2 years and 6 months imprisonment Bashir is noted for his path breaking down to earth style of writing Bashir was honored with the Padma Shri in 1982 he left for his heavenly abode on the 5th of July 1994 we salute the great patriot <laughs> That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.